Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Today we have a spiritual reading, which is a general reading that will be occurring in Gemini. We have a new moon on May 25th or 26th, depending on where you are in the world. And I just wanted to talk to you about how on earth were you guys going handling the different effects from the full moon that we just recently had because it was not a good time for me. So I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. How were you coping with the energies that we are experiencing with our last full moon? All right, let's get cracking on today's reading. So it's a general reading for all signs and just take from it what feels right from you. If a card pops up to you and has a certain meaning or significance, that is your message for today. So we're going to start today's reading with our beautiful Angel Oracle cards from Doreen Virtue. So let's shuffle these and see what our beautiful angels want to tell us for a message for today. All right, angels, we just need one card for a beautiful MK Love Fam, please. No, that's two. Okay, just one. I just heard five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, that one, okay. Oh. See only love. Because I remember our last reading was to do with love as well. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. Yeah, well that fits into my whole philosophy of my whole YouTube channel, that love truly heals all blockages. Okay, let's get some more clarity. I feel like I need another card from this one. Normally I only just do one, but today I feel like we need two. So let's see what. Okay, that's the one. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. We're divinely protected and loved. We need to tune to the frequency of love so we can actually feel the loving energies of our angels, our guidance, God, whatever you want to call it around you has to say. So it says you are safe and the situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal, but universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. So I guess we've been doing a lot of worrying lately and that, that um, full moon that we just had has sparked some emotion in us and it's like, you know, when you see only love, that's when you're vibrating with the frequency of love and when you do that, that's when you're in a state of alignment and when you're at that stage, that's when there's nothing to worry about. Worry kills dreams, it makes things appear worse in your mind than what they actually are. Okay, the next deck we're going to move on to is our numerology deck. I love this one. The beautiful flower of life on there. So let's get some clarity on see only love and there's nothing to worry about. Sorry, I'm on a squeaky chair today. Can we have some clarity please, angels? Oh my gosh, that one. I'm taking this one. <sighs> Number eight, manifestation. Eight also signifies infinity, infinite wisdom, infinite love, infinite potential. I'm gonna read this one because I really love the way that, what's her name? Michelle has written the book. So she says, this card indicates a need to acknowledge the power of your mind and the ability to manifest your desires. You're being urged to familiarize yourself with the law of attraction. I have a whole series dedicated to that. Um, I'll link it on the end card for you. Um, and clarify your wants and needs. For you have entered a powerful cycle of divine manifestation, provided that your dreams serve the greater good. 
as well as your intentions of your soul, the universe will assist you in making them come true. By drawing this card, you are being reminded that successful manifestation requires more than just positive and wishful thinking. You must also surrender the outcome to the divine and detach from the results. That is easier said than done. <laughs> Remember that the law of attraction works both ways. So pay attention to your doubts, worries, and fears, and monitor your negative thoughts. Then focus predominantly on what you want, rather than what you feel you don't have. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and I can't even talk. <laughs> um, harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of your life. Cycles that are leading you towards a time of manifestation. By making peace with your life as it is today and appreciating what you will already have, you will create the life you've always imagined. And the affirmation for today is, I use my thoughts to make my dreams come true. I don't think some of us actually really understand the full potential of the power of our mind. Okay, moving right along. Um, also, if I've, I kind of feel a bit off in this video. All my other videos, I filmed like five videos on the same day, which was like two or three weeks ago, and I haven't filmed since. I haven't felt... Um, I've just been in a rut recently and for me to be dressed today and not be wearing the same clothes is like massive progress. So yeah, I, you know, I can't fake it on camera. <laughs> I'm trying to, but I just like, this is not working. Anyway, now I'm going to go on to our angel our, um, angel tarot deck from Dorian Vert 2 just to get clarity on see only love, there's nothing to worry about and manifestations. All right, my loves, let's see what our next card is. Angels, can we get a nice one, please? Major Arcana would be nice. Oh, can you see that? Clarity for our beautiful MK love fan. That one. Oh, yes, it's Major Arcana. Woo! Release. Oh, that's nice. What does it say? The end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. I like that. It's like you're in Mother Nature. Mother Nature has a frequency that you can't get from scrolling through Facebook or whatever you're trying to su suppress or whatever. Like Mother Nature has this frequency of just pure infinite love that you can't get anywhere else. Okay. Let's look at what 13 means. One and three, so numerology of four. I don't know the numerology of four. Do you, can you post below guys and let me know what's the numerology of four? <laughs> okay. Oh, another one page, release. This card signifies that a time to move on because this project or phase in your life has now, it is now complete. There's no benefit in remaining in the situation. Instead, shake off the old and welcome the new. You may experience a sense of relief in this ending, or there may be some sadness. Either way, it's time to leave what you have outgrown. Take your time to adjust to the change in your life. It's not necessary to rush ahead. Be kind to yourself during this period of transformation and seek support of friends and families. I feel really sad now, like, in my jaw, I I like feel like I'm going to cry. You know that that feeling like it hasn't come to your eyes yet, but it's in your in your jaw. Like I just feel like like tense, like being overwhelmed. Okay, additional meanings to this card. It says inevitable positive changes, facing your fears, relationship trans transitions, spiritual evolution. Okay, Archangel Azariel, I don't know how to say that, heals your heart when changes and losses bring about grieving. Call upon Az Azriel to help you move forward fearlessly and let go of the past. Okay, we need another card. That's just, that's just sad. It's exciting, but like in order to release something, 
you have to in order to release something means you have to let something go in order for something new to come in so maybe there's something that you guys are holding on to that's not serving you and it's causing you to worry that's why we got this card it's like there's nothing to worry about it's like you know how to manifest your heart's true desires so why are you why, why are you making why are you like drawing out this process to see only love and and that love is going to set you free it's going to help you get to where you need to go this is kind of like sad but really beautiful and a really good time anyway i got these new cards i don't know if i've showed you this these are the new look how beautiful they are it is archangel raphael healing oracle cards from Doreen virtue these are on my vision board so i manifested these and they're so thin like they're just so thin okay so this is to do with healing so what kind of healing is this relate in relation to like which area all right angels can you tell us which area that we're holding on to that we need to release and we don't need to worry about oh, oh okay that one jesus it's about forgiveness so this could be forgiveness to yourself forgiveness forgiving somebody else Oh, Jesus, this is this is pretty deep. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, I am willing to forgive myself and others in exchange for what I really want, peace and health. Wow, well, that just hits hope, doesn't it? thing with forgiveness is that sometimes you don't even need to let the person know that you're forgiving them I forgive people for a sense of myself because sometimes you get to a stage where you manifest illness and disease within your body and that you you need to set yourself free it's not a it's not like giving in to someone um that you like are considered weak or whatever it's or you condoning they're doing it's like you're forgiving them because you need to set yourself free and that you don't need to feel like this anymore. Okay, let's get clarity on that one. Forgiveness heals. You drew this card as a reminder that anger, when stored in the mind and body, is harmful to your health or even lethal. That is so true. Oh my goodness. Although something from your past may seem unforgivable, it's time to purge yourself of these toxic emotions for your own sake. Forgiveness doesn't, oh my God. Dude, I'm getting so good at reading these cards. <laughs> Forgiveness doesn't mean I'm okay with what you did. Rather, it simply indicates I'm not willing to suffer from anger through thoughts and feelings. Archangel Raphael is standing by, ready to restore your mind and body to a peaceful state through the process of forgiveness. All you have to do is ask for guidance and be willing to forgive. Raphael will take care of the rest. Isn't that amazing? Okay, possible meanings for this card. Forgive yourself for what you think you did or you didn't do. Be willing to forgive your body. Write a letter to the person you have been angry with, then destroy it as a symbol of releasing that negative emotion. Holy crap. That is exactly what I speak about in my video. Um, how to, uh, what was it? How to release um, physical and emotional blockages. I spoke about the process of writing a letter to my ex and burning it as a symbol of like, this is done. It was just six or seven years a bit delayed. <laughs> Forgive repeatedly until you find peace. Oh, that's interesting. Be honest with yourself and others about your true feelings. Okay, we're gonna to end today with a beautiful little prayer. Are you ready, my loves? Close your eyes, because I think this is gonna be really powerful for you today. Dear God, universe, Buddha, whatever you wanna call it, and Archangel Raphael, I am willing to forgive myself and others in exchange for what I really want, peace, and health. Oh my God. Remember when I read this card, didn't that one end with peace and health? No, it was this one. Okay. So to me, it seems like 
whatever's been going on is related to you being angry at someone and you haven't forgiven them or you're angry at yourself. And as a result of that, you're not manifesting your heart's true desires because you're not vibrating on the frequency of love. When we release, when we forgive, we set ourselves free. Wow, wow, wow. I have no words. This really hit home for me personally today, but I wonder what it has brought up from you. So please, my loves, let me know in the comments what came out of this reading for you because it seems like that, yeah, there is some crazy shit that we've been holding on to. <laughs> All right, my loves, watch my video, Self Love Starts Here. Because when you vibrate in the frequency of love, beautiful things manifest into your heart's true desires. Please check out my um, guided chakra, chakra meditation series. I talk through all of the seven, well, I've done six videos out of seven. I talk through six of the seven chakras and teach you how to unblock them. Um, the meditations range from anywhere between 10 minutes up to 30 minutes. So go through, I'll link it on the end card, and do the meditation. So what I tend to do is if if it's in regards to um, forgiveness, if it's in regards to like finances, um, job, friends, relationship, you don't have that emotional stability, have a look at our root chakra. Um, if it is, what's the next one? Sacral, if it's in regards to an, um, your physical, uh, what do you call it, your sexual, sexuality, um, sexual partner, um, anything to do with that kind of energy, have a look at the sacral chakra. Um, I highly recommend you look at number three, which is our solar plexus, which is our emotional energy center. That is really important. The fourth chakra, which is our heart chakra, you need to listen to that every day. Fifth one is our throat chakra, which is our voice, our communication. I highly recommend you listen to that so you have the voice and the clarity to um, to get out your emotions. It doesn't have to be directly to that person. You could be literally looking at yourself in the mirror. Oh my God, the lighting just changed. That looks so good. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, just looking at, like doing lots of mirror work would definitely help. Um, what's the next one? Our third eye chakra, which is our intuition. Knowing in your heart what is the right thing to do. Because sometimes we know what to do, but we don't act on it. But when that thought pops into your mind, boom, activate it. Do what you think you need to do. What came from this reading from you that was the first thing that popped out of your head that was like, this is what I need to do. If, it, if the letter thing jumped out at you, then, you know, quiet yourself down. I'm burning like, you can't really see it. In here, I have like all of these incense nag champa which is my favorite i'm literally burning that today and i have never burnt that during a meditation but i was feeling off today and i was like i kind of need that to send to me and i was listening to um abraham hicks ramp uh, morning rampage to help get me in the vortex do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel like calm and safe and secure and write that letter to that person or write it to yourself you know you have to you have to release that pain if you are a singer Write a song, sing it out. If you are good at, um, you know, uh, finding, a, maybe you're not good at writing, but sometimes you connect with a song and it helps get that emotion out of you and it helps maybe you cry to release it. Listen to that song on repeat. Or, I don't know, maybe that part where, what did I was talking about? This one, Mother Nature. Maybe you need to just go for a walk and just let it out. I don't know, do what you need to do. You know what makes you feel good. Love heals all blockages. Love is gonna set you free so you don't feel trapped, so you don't feel suffocated. And that you have the power to manifest your heart's true desires. This is the infinity sign, infinite love, wisdom, divinely protected. You are on the right path, my love. You're just at the end of your journey of whatever you're holding on to and now is the time to be like just let it out like let's just do a big sigh let's breathe in through the nose sigh out through the mouth really hard again breathe in 
and release. Again, breathe in and out. Okay, I feel lightheaded now, like I feel a little bit better. All right, my lads, I'm gonna leave you there. Um, and I just wanna say that however this forgiveness process takes place for you, be gentle with yourself. This is not something that you can rush. When you feel ready, you will release, you will surrender, and you will set yourself free. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching to the end of today's video. This is like another 20 minute video. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope that you have got something out of it. Remember, just take whatever feels right for you and act upon it. And I'm wishing you the very best with our new moon energies in Gemini on May 25th or 26th, depending on where you're around the world. Make sure you subscribe so you ne never miss another episode. Turn on the little bell next to the subscribe button so you never miss another video because that lets you know exactly when I upload. All right, my loves, I'll see you next episode. I love you, I love you, I love you. Remember, continue to make better choices and I'll see you next episode. Goodbye, my loves.